All right, cancer and, well, all signs. Really, this is cure for cancer. It's a special holiday edition. Shh, don't tell no one I'm breaking my silence on my holiday break to do it. All right. But this is kind of a curious thing for me. I was looking forward to this. I didn't tell anybody I was going to do it. But it's a cure for cancer. You're the hot spot of the soulmate cycle. Cancer, and as a sign, uh, most people suffering in this cycle is the fastest moving connection. But see, this is the holiday edition. I asked the universe a specific question here. I said, how are the holidays affecting the person on the other side, the runner? Right? How are the holidays affecting? Because the holidays, I'll tell you something. If you're at all unhappy, if you're at all, I don't know, pining for somebody or thinking about somebody or regretting something or whatever, the holidays will poke at that, exacerbate it, you know? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Not to be confused with masturbate. That's different. That's nice. No, it'll exacerbate it. This is a general reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Really, these are all signs because you're the hot spot of the connection cycle. So everybody's welcome here. Uh, it's a general reading. It may or not may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here and you found Steve's Love Tarot, if you're a Cancerian and you found my channel, well, you might want to check my playlists and stuff. There's a lot going on here. You missed a lot if you just found my channel. My God, 2021 was epic around here. This reading is timeless technically, although I asked the universe a specific question, Cancer. I said, how are the holidays affecting this person? What's it going to make them do? What's it going to make them feel? Here's my pre-shuffle when I talk to the fickle old gal universe. It's right here. All right, let's, let's get some cards in position. I can see the monitor there. There we go. Okay, that'll work. You know, we pull five cards from the bottom here after I shuffle. And then we pull eight up top. It's a little different reading. Mm, it's a very powerful reading. Well, <laughs> we start with a hermit when I talk to the universe. It's making them think. It's doing what the holidays always do. Which, which for me is usually sitting around a holiday table with a bunch of people remembering why I don't see these people other than at the holidays. This is generally speaking, that's what it does. That's kind of what's going on here. Somebody on the other side, either fighting with themselves or whatever, I don't know. This may be a specific reading for a set number of you, but there's some Five of Wands going on here. It, it could be because the Five of Wands is technically crossing the Hermit card. It, it could be within themselves, right? It, again, if you are at all unhappy or regret something, which we know, especially from the Venus retrograde reading and things like that, that the runner does, the holidays are a fucking problem, okay? Underneath that, by the way, is the Queen of Pentacles. I think for some of you, not all, some, somebody's fighting over money here. Mm -hmm. Somebody's fighting over... They, for the rest of you, they could be, if that doesn't apply to you, they could be because the Five of Wands is crossing the Hermit debating with themselves about you either way, you know, because you always come up as, as, as stability, the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, something, you know, really good, can't be replaced, that kind of thing. But I think for a good chunk of you, there's some fighting going on on the holidays over at their house. In the Five of Cups, there's a lot of regret around this. I expected to see something like this when I asked the universe about the holidays. There's a lot of regret right here. And somebody's coming to some realizations. It can do that. The holidays can do that. I just told you my story. I shared with you a personal story. I got, I got real personal with you. I sit around the table and I look at these people and I go, my God, I know I was born into this fucking family, but I see why I don't see these people but once a year. I get it. Now I'm going to leave. All right, here's your presents. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. Yeah. It's kind of what I got here. But for some of you, they're fighting over money with somebody or some kind of something to do with stability of, of some kind. Maybe the other person doesn't work. You know, they're just spending all their money, that kind of thing. And then they treat it like it's their own kind of thing. It could be that. But for all of you, my holiday story, my touching holiday story that I shared with you is, is, is pretty true in the energy. There's no doubt about it. Let's see. Let's shuffle the deck. 
Let's get ourselves a cure for cancer reading special holiday edition. I wished it was a graphic that came up. I know. I don't have a staff here. It's just me and the parrot. He's here. He's cleaning his beak. He's in, he's in season. It's Christmas. Right? He's in season two times a year. Well, three if we count Valentine's Day because he got red shoulders and underwings. But he's in season on Halloween because he got a candy corn beak. And he's in season on Christmas because he's all red and green. You know, so he's all right. This is his time of year. He's eating like a god, too. It's the only time of year I let him have fatty foods. He's not supposed to have them. But he had himself some walnuts. All right, here we go. I'm shuffling the deck. Give me the soulmate cycle from the angle of cancer. How's the holidays? The energy of the holidays affecting this person. Tell me about that pre-shuffle. Are we ready? Oh, because the fucking cards are. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. Here's your holiday picture right here. Fuck Norman Rockwell. Fuck that shit. Here's your picture right here. There's your holidays. That's me. I'm that little girl right there. That's me. I'm, I'm gone. Fuck you people. Goodbye. I will walk down the fucking mountain and I will ride a little cow home. I don't care. I want to leave. I know why I do not spend time with you people on a non-holiday any non-holiday day. Just the holidays. Right here. There's your picture. Ten wands is our is our first card out in the five from the bottom. <laughs> That's fucking classic. It's fucking Norman Rockwell right there. That's the holidays for you. Ten wands. Ten wands of burden. And you are heavy on their mind, by the way. One of the things they're thinking about here is, is opening up. Now the ten, tens are the end that lead to a new beginning. This ten of wands is about to break. I can feel that. That's why I told that story of I walk down the fucking hill, I don't care, I will ride a cow home, I'm out of here. This ten is about to break to an ace of wands. Why is that important? Well, not that you would know because you weren't here, but when I first picked up this deck to shuffle for the pre-shuffle, the ace of wands was at the bottom. You're just going to have to take my word for it. It's not technically part of the reading. But I have to consider coincidences because there's no such fucking thing. Mm -hmm. And I feel the burden on this. I just laughed when I saw this card because it really is holidays at my house. I'm gone. I don't care. I will take a fucking cow. I don't care. Right here. King of Cups. Somebody who... This breaks to an Ace of Wands. Somebody who never opened up to you before is regretting the fuck out of that from that five of cups that we saw in the pre-shuffle. Because remember, I'm pulling on the pre-shuffle. You heard what I asked the universe. Yeah, there's a fear of vulnerability here, but there's also a lot of regret for not being vulnerable. And sometimes the king of cups can be like that. Mm, what else? Mm, yeah, I see. I don't know. I'm not looking. I don't know what's under here. All right. And I didn't know that was there. Yeah, I'm 100% right. Alright, I'm 100% right. That's an Ace of Cups. And it's leaking like a motherfucker. Whenever I'm drawn to that, it's leaking like a sieve. This person is now... I think what the holidays are doing for most of your people is what the holidays have, can do. They can make you see some... They can open your eyes. You saw the Ace of Swords, didn't you? From the pre-shuffle. The Ace of fucking Swords. Yeah, they're having some kind of epiphany... Oh, okay. And then the next card we get is this. I'm out of here. Somebody out of there. Whether it's something within themselves or something on the outside, they're done. Okay? They're done. Because they're feeling this love. And this King of Cups, I, I got off of this that he's he's got a lot of regret, male or female. It's a he on the card. He got a lot of regret for not opening up. And he dyes his hair gray. That's weird. What's underneath that Ace of Cups? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, folks. I'm spot on here. I don't know why I'm apologizing to you. Most of you are waiting to hear from this person. It's, I'm just giving you good news. I'm sorry for this person's family. But this is, a ho this is Norman Rockwell right here. I, I, this is, I'm sorry, I'm in love with somebody else. And I've just realized because it's Christmas time that I'm in a lot of pain. And I haven't let go of the pain that someone else caused me. But I'll tell you what, uh, I would rather go take my chances and be vulnerable with my soulmate connection. It's that kind of epiphany. 
Okay, that's what's in the energy. I got Kurt Cobain in pain. I got three swords right here after the Ace of Cups. And, I, and I'm not looking at the cards. You see, they're on camera the whole time. I don't know what's under here. And I told you, there's a lot of regret carry over from that Five of Cups and the pre-shuffle on this King of Cups for not opening up. And the holidays are putting a great, great burden on them because they're not with you. They're with what I assume is them pretend to doing what I do, which is just pretend that everything is great and I'm happy to be here. Yeah, it's good to see you. But those words come out of my mouth so often during the holidays. Yeah, it's good to see you. It's never good to see the person if I say that. If, I, if it's actually good for me to see you, I say, uh, hey, man, how you doing? Or something like that. I don't say it's good to see you. If, it's, if I say it's good to see you, it's not good to see you. Okay, Yeah, good to see you. Yeah. Somebody in a lot of pain, but there's two slashes in this sword, right? Uh, or, or in this heart, I should say. There's two slashes in it. One is not opening up to you. The other is something else. Whoever they're with on the holidays hurt them at some point. I get that from the energy. And it may just be subtle hurting. You know, a lot of people don't realize that they're being controlled or something like that. I'm not saying there's that there has to be a third party here. Your person might be alone eating Cheetos with cats in a one bedroom by the airport for the holiday. I don't fucking know. Uh, but something else hurt them. They took it out on you and now they regret that. But the holidays are really creating a burden here. What, what, what's, what's under this? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Justice. Yeah. It's bookending. Because it's my fifth card, it's bookending the first card. The Ten of Wands. It's exactly what I told you. I'm out of here. I'm, do I'm gone. I will walk down the fucking mountain and ride a cow home. I do not fucking care. It's justice. This could be divorce. This could be somebody realizing, you know what, this is over. You hurt me. I if it's a third party. Okay, I'll just give you a couple of scenarios. All right. If it's a third party, what these cards tell me... Yeah, mm-hmm, they're communicating something. It's the sixth card. I wouldn't normally go to it. It gets a little fuzzy around here, but somebody's communicating all of this. Uh, somebody wants to talk to you, and somebody needs to talk to something else on their side, even if it's themselves. But if this is a marriage kind of a thing, it's like the holidays can be the snapping point. More people file for divorce after the first of the year than any other. It is unreal. Uh, it is unreal because the holidays, you're supposed to be happy. You have to pretend to be happy. You're spending money buying presents for people you don't even like. And it, it just, you know, it's a time where you find out if it's working or not. It's a time where you get real, you know. Uh, how much pretending are you doing? Now, that's if your person's married. If they are, this, this spells divorce. It spells, and the energy of you is all around the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Okay, that's number one. And again, if you haven't watched my Venus Retrograde reading or my 12-12 reading, go watch it so you understand what's going on. Also, go watch the mid-month overview so you understand what's going on in the energy. You understand why I'm saying that. Um, these are almost separate energies. In other words, this Ten of Wands is the overall on the whole thing. But these kind of separate out and these kind of separate out. You're a Ten of Wands to them because they never opened up and they're holding on to all this love and it's starting to leak. Because they're around a situation, just, just as the holidays would dictate, that they don't really like. On the other hand, this Ten of Wands is a burden trying to break to an Ace of Wands, a new beginning. Because somebody hurt them. They're hurt. This, this person is hurt. Either they hurt themselves by the way they behave, or some outside influence hurt them. It, it, justice with the Three of Swords is almost always divorce. Justice with the Tower is divorce. Justice with death can mean that the marriage is over, like the uh, love is gone kind of a thing. It doesn't always mean divorce. It needs a tower to fuel it. I don't need a tower here. I've got, I've got a Ten of Wands which feels like a tower. Okay, It's still up to their free will though. It's not Major Arcana. But the energy is right. It, this is Major Arcana, justice. The energy is right. The table is set for some justice here. For some divorce, whatever, or just them getting over the pain and realizing that they want to open up a little bit. All right, uh, this is this is. I knew this was going to be a powerful reading. I fucking knew it. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. And eight wands right there is the sixth card. I wouldn't pull it normally, 
but it's just feedbacking like a motherfucker off this whole fucking thing. They're going to communicate on two, on two different sides, either to themselves or to a spouse or to a family that's controlling them or a job, a boss, or and to you or just to themselves and to you. Uh, I, it could go either way. It depends. Your person doesn't have to be married. Your person doesn't have to. They, they could be living alone. It doesn't matter. Either way, they got something within them that is pain. I'm going to switch decks. I pick up this deck randomly and I got the devil on the bottom. I think if they are married, it's toxic. It's it, the, the love's been gone a long time. And there's nothing can make you feel that more than the fucking holidays. I'm going to tell you. Or maybe Valentine's Day. You know? <laughs> I had a friend once used to try to tell me she had a great marriage. You try to, you try to lie to me, you got a problem. Okay? First of all, I, she didn't know I read energy. You know? So... We weren't friends very long, but she tried to tell me how happy her marriage was and all that stuff. I get a phone call from her at like 8 o'clock at night on Valentine's Day. You can't tell me you got a great marriage and everything is great and you won't talk to me on the phone for an hour on Valentine's Day. First of all, I, you know, <sighs> unbelievable, unbelievable, mind-blowing. So yeah, Valentine's Day is probably the other one. Unreal. Anyway, let's shuffle the deck here. Let's see where we go. <clears throat> see if I can keep my voice. All right. What's all this mean, universe? What's all this mean? What's our main reading? I'm going to do something a little unprecedented. Because normally we'd be done with the shuffle here. And I would pull the eight cards from the top of this deck. I'm going to pull four from the top of this deck and clarify with the four at the top of this one. <clears throat> that would have come out. How about that? It's unreal. That's what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to ask the universe to tell me about these cards. Tell me what's going on here. See, you hear the bird laugh? He knows I'm in the energy. He a Pisces, you know. Very intuitive sign. Very intuitive little... You see? Hear that? And he laughed again. We got this. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> I believe it. Five of Wands at the bottom. That's the affecting energy of the four I'm going to pull. That's, that's our, it's either arguing with themselves or they're fighting. It's not a good Christmas at their house. <laughs> and, if, and if that's not their religion, it's really not a good Christmas. What the hell are you getting a tree for? Right? Well, I don't even <laughs> Let's see where we go. Oh, it's oh, the secrecy of the moon, the temperance, the six of cups, and the four of swords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, with five wands crossing it. Uh huh. Oh, uh, four of swords and the moon are the bookends here. Uh, this person is thinking about you a lot over the holidays. Okay, your runner, it, you are. I'll just tell you what the middle is here: the Temperance and the Six of Cups. This person is. If they're sitting at a table talking to family, they're just there. I mean, they're literally on autopilot. They're in their mind thinking about you. They're thinking back. There's a lot of nostalgia in play here, okay? But it revolves around that this temperance card here is angel energy. I, I, I feel it, it revolves around your connection. It revolves around what happened with your connection, their behavior or something along those lines. Anyway, the Four of Swords with the uh, Moon card, this person's been doing a lot of thinking behind the scenes. We saw it with the Hermit that we opened up with. This person's been doing a lot of thinking and healing behind the scenes. A lot of secrets. They have a lot of fear though. I don't know why. I don't know. It could just be all this fighting is secrecy too. I know the healing part is right, but there's more to this moon. Why is this moon here? Let's pull the four from the top here. These would have been the four that landed here. All right? Had I used the deck the way I normally do. Yeah. The five of pentacles. Um, this person's been doing a lot of thinking about you. They want to come in from out of the cold. They know they fucked something up here. Look, whatever they've got on their side, even if it's just within them, okay, it doesn't have to be a third party, but if it is, fine. Whatever they've got on their side is represented by three swords and justice, okay? They are healing. They are getting over pain, but also burden is, the Ten of Wands is bookending justice. That's basically a tower and justice together, which, which is always, I'm, I'm gone, I'm out. 
So either they're out on a way of thinking, they're out of whatever. It's not a good holiday. Five of they're mm, they want to come in from out of the cold. I don't think they're talking about it though. Yeah, they do. I said that was your connection. I said it. Rewind. I love saying that. You you can hear me say it. I said that that represents your connection to me, and the, and the, and there's a lot of nostalgia with it. And I throw a fucking knight of cups on top of it. It represents love right there. They want to come towards you. They need to get the fuck out. They need to kick somebody out. For a lot of you, this is a third party. The universe is bringing in a third energy. It can be just within them. Okay, it can be. And the bird laughed, so he agreed with me. When I when he laughs, I'm in the energy. I'm getting it right. But I know I am anyway because I threw a knight of cups on top of what I said was your connection. Yeah, they want to come in and talk to you. They got to get rid of something else first, but the holidays are really making them see what shit they've got. I tell you, my, my little touching holiday story, my Norman Rockwell painting that I gave you is pretty fucking accurate. It's pretty fucking accurate. Why is the six of cups here? Seven of swords. Uh, one of the things they're thinking about is their behavior. I said that. Rewind. I did. I said they're, they're, thinking, they're, they're thinking back to their behavior, their bad behavior here, the way they behaved. I said it at some point. I remember saying it. It's in the energy, and it just came out here with the Seven of Swords. Um, they lied to themselves a lot about this. Also, this energy is tied to the moon a little bit. They've been lying to themselves about what whatever is going on on their side for like the reasons that they and I see that a little bit with the five of wands here this is nonsense it's the weakest energy in the tarot it is take it from an energy reader it's the five of wands is bullshit it really is uh, this person's looking at everything their behavior with you the lying to themselves about that and lying to themselves that that they had something going on their side like my friend i told you like the story of yeah you got a great marriage but you're calling me on valentine's day you know shouldn't you be busy right now you know shouldn't you be banging or, or whatever I, I you know all right why is the four of swords here there's a lot of deception here there's been a lot of lies a lot of self-sabotage my god a lot. That's devil energy, by the way. That devil was at the bottom of that deck when we picked it up. It's a mild devil energy, but the Seven of Swords is devil energy. Why is the Four of Swords here? Let's take a look. I haven't looked yet. Yeah, they're coming. They want to come talk to you. My God, do they ever. Every card, they're healing right now from something. But this person here, after a little bit of healing, they want to fix things with you. This is a card of that. It's a card of an apology, right? And I know I'm drawn to the pig flying here. I know it's when pigs fly. And I know we've been here before, but we haven't been here in these energies before. Post 12-12. Post the eclipse. All of that energy is still in play. You heard him. He laughed. He a Pisces. All of those energies are still in play. You've seen my Venus retrograde reading. Even I'm blown away by it. I am not a sugarcoater. And I'm not going to sugarcoat this. You know, it's still up to their free will what they do. Her leaving and getting on this male or female and getting on this cow and getting the fuck out of there is their free will. It's, it's minor arcana. But they are sad and regretful for not opening up to you, for keeping this Ace of Cups sealed. Why is this important? Why do I keep going back to this? Because the King of Cups holds the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups is crossing him. It was underneath him in the deck. So it's crossing him. It's the affecting energy. It's like this, right? And it's like that. That's the way it is. Somebody's done with something and they regret how they treated you. It's an easy way to phrase it. Okay? It is in the energy. But I won't lie to you. It's up to their free will still. This person is some sort of super fuckwit from the planet fuckwit, Tom. Right? I don't know. Maybe you got fuckwitite and they're allergic to it. I have no idea. No fucking idea. But they do want to come in and talk to you. But they downshift in the, in their mind. They down they as they think back. They think back to all the shit. It's this seven of swords when they start thinking back to their behavior, where you're concerned that they downshift to a page. But in the initial thinking of this connection, they're a knight in their mind. Oh, I'll go to get the grocery store roses and come in. Oh, but I was an asshole. And it downgrades to that because there's still healing from something. And I see it here. There's two slashes in this heart. 
Whenever I'm drawn to that, it tells me there's double pain here. They hurt you because somebody else hurt them. And then, well, it doesn't, you know, again, it doesn't have to be a spouse. It could be mommy and daddy hurt them in, in their childhood or something. I have no idea. Maybe that handsy uncle liked to give them a bath too much when they were a kid is at the fucking holiday party. I don't fucking know. It could be anything. But this person's in some pain. They're healing from something that they didn't address properly. Whatever it is, they took it out on you. And now they're regretting it because they're healing. And as they heal, and I'm going to tell you something. I'm just going to give you some straight up energy here. Some straight up energy read. I may have told you this before. I don't know. But I'm going to tell you anyway. Sometime in the next month, maybe at the latest halfway through February. So month to a month and a half at the most but I would say sometime in January and we, we might see this in my January overview when I come back the runner in these connections is gonna wake the fuck up and have a well of they're already awake to the connection in the soul but their feelings the, the, the welling of love this ace of cups is cracked I see it here that's why I'm bringing it up and I pointed it out to you earlier I said it's leaking once the leak starts right it gets it gets worse you know, you can try and patch it up all you want, but you got to replace the part. Anybody who knows about cars that's watching this right now knows what I'm talking about, right? You get a little crack in something, that little crack in something, you just like you patch it up with something. That little crack in something a year later is a big gaping hole in something. Well, it ain't going to take your person that long. This Ace of Cups is about to blow. I can tell you that. I'm going to be honest with you. Let's go. Uh, let me pull some more cards. Give me three cards. I'll do it from the little light seer. Ah, you know what? I've got enough light seers on the table. Let's do it from the little animal deck. All right, let's see. Let's add all this up. Mm. Give me three cards, universe. Let's talk to the universe. Let's talk to the fickle old gal here on this special holiday edition when I'm supposed to be resting, I know. But I can't. I can't while this energy's here. It's crazy. I gotta give y'all a reading. This, this is a very important reading. This leads us in. This is the hot spot of the connection cycle. This is everybody's person. You know, I mean, it really is. It's for cancer, yes. I pulled from the angle of cancer. The cure for cancers are, are, are a flyover of the, of the fucking hot spot of the connection cycle. It's pretty much the story here. Give me three cards, universe. Sum all this up for me. Add it up. Let's go. Let's go. Three cards and a bottom card. Yeah. I see the bottom card. I see it. I do. Five of Pentacles again. Double Five of Pentacles. A tower in the center card. Wait till you motherfucking see what's crossing that. Because <laughs> my bottom card is crossing a tower. Holy shit. Holy shit. And two cups. Come on. This reading had to be done. This reading had to be done. I think that's my title for it. Cure for Cancer, Holiday Edition. This reading had to be done. Just watch it. Right? Just fucking watch it. Unfucking real The tower, red center, left, right. The tower. It's all coming crashing down. Why? Okay. For starters, before I show you the crossing card here, the next card it leads to is the Five of Pentacles. I got a double Five of Pentacles. By the way, our crossing card is a repeat as well. But I've got a Five of Pentacles here. This Five of Pentacles, it, it ties to this Five of Pentacles. This Five of Pentacles is, is about they need to get the fuck out of something. All right. It, it's in part that they're out in the cold and want to come out of the cold on a soulmate connection. That's you, by the way. Two cups coming together. All they want is this. All right, and it's not hard to believe because sitting around that family dinner, all I, I would want anything. I would take any one of you, even if I don't like you, even if you're one of my biggest critics and you yell at me and call me the devil. I would rather be at your house. You know, I, I'll take a cow to your house. You could sit there and call me a devil all night. That that's far, far better than what I have to endure at a family dinner. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm in. I tell you, you hear him laugh? He knows. He comes along. Uh, I'll tell you what. Um, so that's part of it. But the other part of it is there's something coming crashing down on their end. If, if they're married, that shit is over. And the holidays will do that. All right? 
I think for some of you this is cyclical within your person. I think if you think back or you look back on your person, if they are with somebody, they may have threatened to leave that person. This ain't for all of you, maybe one or two, but they may have threatened to leave that person around the holidays once before in the past, maybe 2019, 2020, something along those lines. I don't like to go back too far. It's possible for one or two of you. It's just, this all seems very cyclical in nature, but there's a lot of powerful energies at play around. Crossing the tower, by the way, is the Ace of Wands, and fueling that, crossing that, is the Knight of Cups, which again is tied to you. I've got the Ace of Swords was the end of our pre-shuffle. It is someone realizing the truth. What effect, the question we ask the universe, what effect is the holiday season, the energies of the holidays, and the holidays are an energy, okay? They are an energy. Everything is energy. The holidays are an energy all their own, all right? Everything creates an energy. The people you're around, all of it, you hear the bird laughing. He knows I'm right. The holidays create an energy. So what is the effect of the holiday energy on the runner in these things? And it's about... Oh my God, I finally fucking see the light. Archangel Michael shoved his sword clean up my ass right through my head. And it's creating a tower. Not just a little card, a huge card. And the end result is two soulmates coming together. And proof of that is fueling that Ace of Swords is a Knight of fucking Cups, the second one. And the first one is on top of your connection. I stand by this reading. Now, you know, again, the ratios hold true. You know, 87% or so will come in, some 87 to 91, something along those lines or whatever it is. Something around 87 is probably a safe number. That, that's the percentage we've been pulling. There's still 13% or so who won't. But those are pretty good odds. I would tell you to bet on the horse. If those were the odds, and you asked me, you know, Steve, should I bet on this horse? Well, there's an 87% chance the horse wins. There isn't a gambler watching this right now that wouldn't put some money on that fucking horse. And I'm, of course you would. Well, 87% chance the horse wins? Fuck. All right. Give me 1500 on lucky loser. You know, right there. Boom. It, it really is like that, you know, and it's unreal. Uh, they are a little confused. Underneath that is the Seven of Cups. They are a little confused on how to come in, how to approach you. I don't know why that is. Maybe they think you've moved on, gotten on with your life. I don't. It could be that. They're just confused on how to approach you on the approach you side. But I'll tell you what, the holidays are hammering home. Whatever it is that's been hanging them up on their side, if it's a marriage... Listen, I'm not seeing anything good here. If it's a marriage, uh, I, I got a justice card. I got I, and a tower in the same reading. I'll pull a couple more cards on on this uh, justice and three of swords combo because they're together. I'll pull a couple cards on that right now before we go. All right, because it's a special holiday edition. It's my gift, you know. Whatever, it's the best I can do. I can't bring you all a gift. I'm not Santa. I can't come to all your homes at night. If I did, I'd bang you. But, you know, I'd be the best Santa you ever saw coming down the chair. I'd be tired. Man, my dick shock would be sore the next day after that. I'll tell you what. All right. But anyway, here we go. Tell me about this justice and three of swords. So this is beautiful. It ends with two soulmates coming together. The holidays are good for you if you're waiting to hear from somebody. I mean it about the holidays. It creates an energy all its own. It can. It, it's a neutral energy. It can be good or bad. It depends on who's feeding it. <laughs> it really can. That's how the holidays work. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. All right, here we go. Uh, why is the Three of Swords and Justice here? Hey, boy, I'm really in the energy, aren't I? You're, la you're laughing it up over there. My goodness, Christmas bird. He's just happy because he had walnuts. All right we got here all right yeah I see the bottom card uh-huh uh-huh they're heading toward love they're gone knight of swords heading right there they're toward the love the queen of cups most love one human being can feel for another 
with a reading that ends with two, with well, it, it ends with the page of cups, an apology. But when I talk to the universe, how the holiday affects them ends in two cups. Ends in, okay, uh, I need to get rid of what I've got on my side, whatever it is. Uh, whatever this is, they're done with it. And I got another page of cups underneath that. Okay, so they are downshifting again. They, they're going to probably show up as a page of cups very soon. I would guess January. Because the love is going to be, and, I, and this is the love that's welling up. This, this Queen of Cups happens after this sucker breaks. After that little crack that they try to seal with tape. And she just breaks wide open. Yeah. Then they feel this. They probably downshift to a page a little bit. Don't believe it. You know. They're coming in just to test the waters. Be careful. You know. Make sure they don't get hurt. Whatever. We'll see what's on top. Just for fun. I can keep throwing them all I fucking want. It doesn't matter. Uh, so I threw... These are the top cards right here. And these are the affecting energies. Right the fuck here. Unreal. This is unreal. It's fucking mind-blowing. I'll bring them up. I threw on the Justice card crossed by the Three of Swords. These are the bottom cards. I even picked an extra bottom card because it was there. I can't, can't find a bad card anywhere. Three of Cups. This is reunion. It's, it's reconciliation. It's also communication. It's got a sun. Chatty Cathy. Right? It's got birds perched. That means a conversation is here. It's happening. I think this is all happening very soon. Because I'm pulling on the holidays. I'm pulling right now. This is energy that's right now. For all of you, it's right now. It's not like, uh, this might happen in a month or two. I mean, I can tell the universe where the holidays is. You know, it, it's, it creates its own little bubble of energy. So I'm just pulling on that bubble of energy created by the holidays. Somebody wants to talk to you. Somebody's opening up for big, big time here. It is a page kind of energy, but they're feeling a Queen of Cups, and I think they could open up and go... Because the Three of Cups is here, I think they could open up a little more, a little quicker. Either way, this um, Knight of Swords, this is conversation. This is them coming in with a specific message, but it's also flying away. It's flying away from something up here, and I see it up top. For those of you where your person is in another relationship, or they're being controlled by a family or some shit like that, that shit is over. These were the top cards. These are just the affecting energies, and it's beautiful. The affecting energies is mostly you, is what I'm trying to say. You're the affecting energy on this, on this justice card crossed by three of swords. You're this energy. This was something else. You were here in part because they hurt you. Yes, you're one of the slashes, but something else hurt this person. You're this. You're the king of cups. I regret not opening up to them. And the, and the cup is cracking. He holds the ace of cups. The ace of cups is cracking. It's creating a huge burden. They want out of this family environment, whatever the fuck's going on. You, you, thank you. I, I, I tell you what, I'm spot on. He's laughing a lot. Um, this here is the affecting energy. This is you. They're coming toward you. Big love, all that stuff. This up here is the top of the deck. This is the justice card and the three of swords, whatever this is. If your person's married, it's over. It's done. The wheel of destiny is turning. And that, that eight of wands that was our sixth card from the bottom here, uh, the one after justice, is talking about communication. I've got it right here. I've got the perched bird and I've got the sun, Chatty Cathy. And then I pulled, with that, I pulled a chariot card for my center card. Um, and then I pulled an Ace of Pentacles. Something you've been waiting for a long time. This also tells me that this is something they should have done a long time ago, whatever this is. Whether it's something within them that they finally deal with and get the fuck over and wake the fuck up. Or it's some sort of marriage on their side or, or relationship or family dynamic or something that, that they should have put their foot down on a long time ago. It, it's finally here. It, it's happening. And technically speaking, okay, technically because this is three cards, this Knight of Swords is crossing the chariot. They gone from whatever it is. They're gone and they're going to communicate this. But I got that off of the Wheel of Fortune anyway. Listen, this, this reading had to be done. It did. The holiday energy, the holidays create a bubble of energy. Of all the times that I could sit here 
and pull a reading and go, well, there's no time in the energy because, you know, blah, blah, blah. So this might happen later for some of you or whatever. No, this is a bubble that's been created that I pulled on. So I'm reading that bubble. It's a temporary bubble called the holidays. That's what we're going to call it. Whatever you want, however you want to shape it up, the holidays stretch. Uh, usually the bubble lasts until about the first week of January. You know, it's that bubble of energy that causes people to make resolutions. It's that bubble of energy that causes people to see the reality of the people around them. All right, it's it's a very important bubble. It's a really and it's really a it drives a lot of epiphanies. And we got two ace of swords in this reading, one in the pre shuffle and one in the out shuffle. That's some serious epiphany on this person's side. I think they're done. I don't think I think 2022 is going to be a whole different ball game for a lot of you. For a lot of your people, too, I believe. They're a little slow, you know. Uh, I had someone like that once. You know, I, I had an intuitive thought about them. You know, a lot of you Divine Feminines are pretty far up the road, right? We talk about you having a BMW and them having a 74 Pinto. A lot of you Divine Feminines are pretty far up the road. That happens a lot in these situations. I had it happen to me once, and I quoted Jackson Brown on it. I love quoting Jackson Brown. He got a line in one of his songs, you're a couple of years and a couple of changes behind me. And sure enough, a couple of years went by and that person showed up out of nowhere. So, you know, they came to their senses. All the seeds I had planted began to grow. I'm not saying that, that some of you have been in this a couple of years. You're all, it, it, just think of it as metaphorical, you know. But you definitely were a couple of whatever and a couple of changes ahead of your person. You know, they're catching up. And they're catching up fast. This chariot and this wheel of fortune and this knight of swords supercharges their 74 Pinto. All right? It'll catch you. It will. It looks like it's going to. And you're the, you're the reason for it. It's all right here. And it's all right here. Unreal. This is the reading that had to be done. That's your reading. I'd watch it a few times. This is pretty spectacular. You know, pulling on that holiday energy. I hope this reading was helpful to you. I hope you're all having a good holiday. I hope you're not me going out to your cow and coming down a mountain. <laughs> but either way, if you are, uh, you know, come on by if you want. Uh, anyway, you can have some of Flem's walnuts. Uh, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If I helped one person today or surprised the hell out of you that I'm here, then I've done my job, comically speaking. Uh, if you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Um, your Friday reading will go up <clears throat> tomorrow, the 24th, and your Saturday weekly reading will go up, too, for the coming week, so on Christmas Day. And then I'll be back around the 27th or 28th with your January All Signs monthly overview, which is going to be some serious motherfucking shit. Uh, based on this, I believe it. I believe it, because that's still in the holiday energy, technically, when I'll be pulling that. Mm, it's going to be something. All right, everyone. Good luck, and have a good holiday. <laughs>